Sometimes if, you know, you're a receiver and they throw a huck that's pretty high in the air and you're looking at the sun and, you know, you're, sometimes if you're looking up towards the Frisbee. Wildfire on the desk. Pavel going deep. He's got Barker for the score. Oof, tight throw there. Floats it out up the right hand side to Pavel. Pavel into the end zone for the score. It's Mike Pardo. Yes. Max to the center to field. Now they're on. If they can prevent themselves from making those types of mistakes, they should be able to. Wow. Going deep for the score. Games. Always a fun time. So I imagine Rockford will be the same. Pavel going deep. Disc out there for the score. Okay. The scorecard. Leverson again. Fired it deep. Indianapolis defender reacted poorly. And Zakarik. Now firing it up uh, the left-hand side. That's Plue. Give and go. Plue into the end zone for the score. You can do it from a, a juke or a quick burst of speed out after a throw. Up oh, here comes a throw from Ross. Ross Barker going deep. Pavel. Looking for the disc, and he will catch up for it with the score. Ross Barker to Pavel. Yeah. I don't think he fully knows how good that he can be. You know, a lot of the... Alley Cats going deep for the strike, and the Alley Cats will come up with the score. 12. In ultimate, and being able to see the space is very clear from this vantage point. Sometimes from the sidelines or even the stands, it's very difficult to see. Working but... the disc up the right-hand side. Wildfire making the play on the disc, but... It was unfortunate for Indianapolis. The guy was wide open. Chicago did not recover and did not go deep. And Simon was able to get that deep. Now Pavel laying up there deep. Into the end zone for the score. What a miraculous play by Chowder. Wildfire seemed to be showing a little bit of life here. Working the right side of the field. Past midfield now, way down into the uh, Chicago Wildfire end of the hammer throw into the end zone for the score. Working up the middle of the field. Jacobs going deep. Oh, another fantastic play. Make any type of deep cut, and Indianapolis is just sitting on those unders. Miller into the end zone. Knocked away by the. Yeah. Back to the middle of the field. Firing it into the end zone for the score. Once again, the Alley Cats. And just double team made it really, really hard and almost caused the turnover. Pavel Leparto now fires it down by the end zone to Johansson into uh, Max Trotter for the score. Over the top into the end zone for the score. Space. Chicago not sending anybody in space. And there's an opportunity. Oof. Wow. Big play for the Alley Cats. They'll come up firing for the score. It's very, very challenging to, you know, and frustrating sometimes to keep the focus up if there's one guy that might be out of position or just isn't able to get any help. Pavel going deep. One of his signature lines. You know, it's difficult sometimes, like I said, Indy's been playing straight man-to-man -man D, and with Pardo, if you don't get behind him, he's going to burn you. Into the end zone for the score. Alley Cats you're changing is because you're up for, by so much, and usually when you do that, it can cause, you know, the offenders to not run as hard or potentially be a little lazier on throws and cuts. Alley Cats to midfield. Now throw the disc deep into the end zone for the score. Max this. Trotter just short of midfield. Ross Parker going deep. Lays it out there. Great play on the disc. 
Yeah. Gives up some room to Romo Hart again. Any other point in the game, this would be a great offensive possession. Well, except for that. But, you know, every any other point in the game, it would have Yeah, the wildfire have to be frustrated here. Going deep. Nice play on the disc. Again, by the Alley Cat offensive player. Puts the disc back into play, knocking on the door. But they can wind this one down, too, and they will. Inside of five seconds. That's it, folks. 25-21 will be your final score.